Welcome to Digital Shop Talk, coming at you from the Buckhorn Exchange on Osage Street in Denver, Denver's oldest restaurant. You're gonna get some steak after this? I am, I think it's actually the oldest liquor license. Oldest liquor license in Denver, but an amazing place. Stick around for the full episode, because we're gonna show you some insider shots, some really cool, um, Rocky Mountain everything, Oysters. Everything about this place is amazing. If yeah. you live in Denver or if you're visiting Denver, definitely come by here. Put this on the list. Speaking of which, did you check in? Um, I don't do that anymore. You don't do that anymore. With not what? Even, not even on Facebook? Well, on Facebook, I do start to check in. You do start often. to check in. Well, Facebook's actually in the news because recently uh, they've been rolling out some algorithm updates uh, to kind of decrease what a lot of us are seeing in our news feeds now clickbait, right? The Kardashian empire seems to be built on it in a lot of ways, like a lot of other. Um, whatever you want to call it, but clickbait, it's a real thing. We all see it in our news feeds, not just on Facebook, but uh, throughout the web. So Facebook's kind of made a concerted effort or starting to try to reduce this clickbait uh, yeah. in your news feed. Yeah, so basically if you're a publisher, so what, what we typically see in, in your feed is a publisher might have something like top 10 ways to lose stubborn chin fat, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, right? So that could be because something I would be like, oh, click on it, and then if you're in your phone, you're scrolling, you're scrolling, you get ads, 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 the CPM, the advertiser doesn't get a good experience, yep. the whole thing's not great. So Facebook obviously is in the business of having you continue to go to Facebook, so they're trying to create a, a great user experience. So um, if you're engaged in that, uh, it's probably not working that well for you anyway, but it's something to look out for. Other news in Facebook that's really interesting is they are giving us, the consumer, more control over what ads you see, mm -hmm. and at the same exact time, making it harder for ad blockers to work. Mm -hmm. So a lot of ad blockers came out because of Facebook, because right. sometimes, and I've ranted on this in the past, because users feel like everything should be free and to see an ad for something that they might like is the, oh my gosh, the worst thing ever. <laughs> um, but Facebook's saying, hey, let's make this experience better. Right. Like, I know that you like Kolsch rather than IPA. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe they know that if I like Kolsch or something like that. Sure. So they're gonna show me that ad, which is gonna be relevant and useful, yep. um, which works for the advertiser, works for the user, works for Facebook, works for everyone along the way. And that's kind of a theme that we've been talking about the last month or so. Just make good ads. Make good advertising, right? Like, people aren't gonna engage with bad content create good content and you target properly, which especially on Facebook, you have the data to do more richly than a lot of other platforms, people are gonna click on it. So, um, like Facebook's just doing a lot of cool stuff. So like the Buckhorn here, I'm sure that they look at who checks in and all this great information, they're engaging with their fans. Yeah. It's one of the best forms of advertising you can do today. Um, so just, if you haven't heard about these things, check them out, make sure your Facebook strategy is in check. So many different ways to engage with audiences. I read an article that's gonna be big. We'll be back. The toolkit. Uh, we've got a very special guest today, Gloria Dutton, who is one of our prize partners at Location Three. She heads up client strategy, director of client strategy, and she also doubles as the marketing director for her family's restaurant, The Buckhorn. Hello, everyone. So tell us a little bit more about The Buckhorn. What are some cool things we should know? So the first thing is both Josh and you are correct. Oh, nice. It okay. is the oldest <laughs> restaurant and the number one liquor license. Um, the Buckhorn actually got the number one liquor license right after Prohibition. They liked the owner so much, they gave out the liquor license from Z to A because his name was Zietz. <laughs> nice. Um, we've had and what five, year was that? 1893. Wow. Um, we've had five presidents, um, gone through many multiple changes in the neighborhood. Um, it's withstood pretty much every other change in Denver, including floods, government changes. And how long have you been? involved with the I have been involved since the day I was born. My parents run it, so I grew up in this wonderful place. That's awesome, that's awesome. So as a digital marketer that's dealing with large Fortune 500 brands, and then putting on your second hat and working at the bunk card, what are you what are you doing for marketing here? What are you, what are you seeing that's working? The biggest things are reaching out and being part of the local community marketing. So making sure, um, one, we're a visual restaurant. So really making sure we're in not only 5280 magazines, but those digital spaces. We're a very big out of state um, in tourism. So making sure we're available for all the digital searches on meeting conferences, unique restaurants, yeah. historic I would imagine Denver. You're on a lot of lists. Yes, a lot of lists. Top of Denver, unique historic restaurants. Um, also just 
feeding into the guest posts and guest bloggers that want to um, indulge in the restaurant and having that, that following. Gotcha. Really making those relationships. Gotcha. So there's a craze sweeping the nation. I don't know if you're aware of it or not. You probably fit right in that, that generation. A little higher, but it might be a little higher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pokemon. So, you guys are doing something with it now, right? We are. So, Pokemon started using um, Google Maps um, with historic landmarks. Fun fact the other fun fact about the Buckhorn is we are a historic landmark. Okay. So, we became a Pokestop without us even signing up for it. So, they. That's interesting. I did not know that. Yes. All right. So we were a Pokestop okay. um, upon the release of the app. So a lot of people are visiting the restaurant outside, um, and you yeah. collect your Pokeballs okay. and revive. So are you those. are you able to bring any of those people in? So at first glance, we weren't sure how. Um, right. We did just now create an offering where instead of just standing outside of our building as the Pokestop, coming in and actually enjoying this store right. landmark by giving you a dollar off your drinks when you come in. And is that why we have this lovely beverage from dollar? <laughs> we get a dollar off? We, we indulge in a happy hour. Okay, but, perfect. <laughs> right. But other than that, normally that's, that's so, how people are. Approaching. Question for you digital marketing is so fast paced. We talk about Facebook, Instagram, Pokemon, Google, this, that, the other. How do you, you obviously have an advantage in being in it, but if you didn't, like, how would you, how, how do you think small businesses, what, what should they focus on? Like, we cut through the noise and really understand the digital. Well, it's also important to know the soul of your business. So we've been approached by multiple small agencies of all the places we could expand. Sure. Um, really just thinking about your soul. So the Buckhorn is historic. So the visual ones are very key to us. Gotcha. We also know when we analyze our customer data, like you said, from Facebook or even credit card usage reports, CRMs, it's a lot of out of state. So gotcha. we have okay. a lot of loyalty programs, for example. A lot of restaurants in Denver that works for because it's the Denver local audience. Sure. For us, we have to focus on our true brand, which is more special events gotcha. and out-of-towners. Very cool. Awesome. Well, in our next segment, we're going to kind of take a look around and check out the ins and outs of this wonderful place. Thanks, everybody. 